In a few short months in 2025, the COP30, billed as the Global Climate Change Summit, will take place. So, what is COP30? Where and when will it be held? Who will attend? What does the programme cover? And what is its goals and objectives? Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. So, by now, you may already be aware that COP30 is expected to be held later in 2025. However, there are vital questions that are begging to be answered. So, here goes. What is COP30? COP30 sounds a strange title to give such an important global meeting. The COP is a global summit on the climate change issues affecting the world held by the parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, otherwise known as UNFCCC, which is the international treaty with the objective to prevent dangerous human interference with the climate system, primarily by stabilising greenhouse gas emissions. The summit is known as the Conference of the Parties, or COP for short. The first COP was held in Berlin in 1995 and has been held every year since, save for 2020, when it was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And this year's meeting will be the 30th annual summit, which is why it's called COP30. If you're getting value out of this episode, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more environmental and sustainability videos, please subscribe to this YouTube ch channel and hit the notification bell to be informed of our latest episodes. When will the COP30 be held? The period for the COP30 meeting will be from Monday the 10th to Friday the 21st of November 2025. The Brazilian government, who are the hosts, have decided to bring forward the COP30 Heads of State Summit within the United Nations Climate Change Conference, which is now scheduled to take place on the 6th to 7th of November 2025. Where will COP30 be held? COP30 will be held in Belém, the capital and largest city of the state of Para within Brazil, which is a country having a population of about 211 million in South America. It is well placed for holding COP30 as the city is a significant cultural centre, but will be strained in meeting the accommodation needs for the COP30 delegates with rumours of cruise ships being sequestered to be used as floating hotels prior to the conference. What is the COP30 president designate? The COP president, André Cora Dulago, is a veteran climate diplomat who, since 2023, has served as Brazil's Secretary of Climate, Energy and Environment and has been working in sustainable development for the past two decades. His appointment may have an opportunity to reset the COP process following COP29 in Azerbaijan and COP28 in the United Arab Emirates, both of which are oil states and appointed COP presidents linked to the petrochemical industry. So what is the significance of the COP30 being hosted by Brazil? One of Brazil's priorities during its 
COP30 presidency is to ensure parties, businesses and communities move beyond pledges and act collectively to accelerate implementation. COP30 should initiate a new decade of global action on climate change. A letter published by the COP president outlines 10 principles for his approach to shape the COP30 meeting to deliver real changes. Cooperation among peoples for progress of humanity. COP30 at the epicentre of the climate crisis. A global call against climate change. Summoning the United Nations in a new alliance against our common enemy, climate change. Pulling levers and calling for brilliant minds, brave individuals and hard work and solidarity. Pulling levers, calling stakeholders within UNFCCC. Upholding multilateralism and persevering with expanding our collective legacy. Navigating ahead, guided by the Southern Cross. And a new era honouring our word. Building tomorrow, making history today. If the COP30 programme follows previous COP meetings, it will cover different themes, with each day having its own theme, such as Finance Day and Water Day, Decarbonisation, Science, Solutions and Gender Day. Multidiversity Day, Youth Day and Civil Society Day. Who will attend? Nearly all of the countries in the world are party to the UNFCCC. There are approximately 200 world leaders, 30,000 delegates and an expected total of 70,000 participants to attend, take part in the discussions, report back on progress since the 2015 Paris Agreement within the stock take process, as well as further discussions on how to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and combat their impact that they're already having on our climate. So, to summarise, we should all hope that COP30 will reignite the positivity for dealing with climate change and to make practical and significant steps to ensure that all parties can deliver on the Paris Agreement commitments for holding the increase in global average temperature to well below 2 degrees above the pre-industrial levels and still pursuing efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, which, according to some observers, is a target that may be unattainable based on our current climate impacts. In the run-up to the COP30 summit, I will aim to provide further episodes to help in the understanding of climate change and the actions that you can take both as an environmental manager or consultant or as an informed individual citizen. If this episode has helped to advance your understanding of the COP30 summit, please leave a comment in the box below if this video has helped you. Further information on COP30 and the references to the documents mentioned in this episode are given in the link in the description box below to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right and to subscribe to this channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.